Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to another vlog from Kuala Lumpur. We have shifted the room to a new property and this is Scarlett uh, Premier Suites and this is the property, this is the studio room I have booked in Nagoda. I really liked it because uh, I have a kid, I have to cook at least breakfast. So I thought this is the perfect size for two people and a kid or even two people. So this is how it looks. A lot of things like, uh, you know, they have proper storage and uh, they have the washing machine, they have the kitchen utensils, basic utensils, they have the storage for kitchen as well. They have the fridge and all, bathroom is good and they have the dining area. This is so beautiful actually, perfect for, you know, if you want to have some candlelight dinner or anything, it's amazing. They have the sofa and the bed, the beautiful part is this scenery. <laughs> when I just opened this curtain, it was just amazing and I saw, you know, the sun from sunrise to sunset. It was really good when it, when they turn on the city lights. It's really beautiful. I just like this room. We are actually going to the Batu Caves. Uh, that's uh, very famous and Subramaneshwaram Swami uh, Temple. So we will go there uh, and after that, most probably we'll have lunch and go there. So we have a lot of other things to do. We didn't cover the Petrona Twin Towers. So we thought we'll go during like 5.30ish so that we can see the light and then the night light as well when they turn on the lights. So yes, that's uh, for today. I did room, uh, we just did nothing. I was just sitting here in this corner uh, today morning and having a sip of, you know, hot water and enjoying the view. Shum. To McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So why would I? Why would I follow? Okay, we just came out from the room and then uh, we came out for lunch. So this place is near Brookfields. So this place is called Brookfields and uh, here we are just trying to have some Indian food and look look in the background this place. This is a biryani house and it says Hyderabad biryani house. There's one more place in the background which says Hyderabad biryani. This entire area somehow I see a lot of places which says Hyderabad biryani. Our intention was to have something Indian and wanted to try a different area. So that's why we came here. But looks like it's mostly Hyderabadi food and restaurants here. So I heard like this particular place called My Biryani House is kind of famous in this area. I spoke to a local. So that is where we'll go inside. For now, let's go inside. Let's see how the food is. Wow, what happened to your biryani? <laughs> Unfortunately, the biryani is completed. So I had to settle down for meals. Even the meals look fine. It's a non veg meat. So there's some meal maker curry here. There's some chicken fry. And then we have some chicken gravy. Also ordered some fried rice and the dragon chicken to pair with the fried rice. So, but still, okay. Here we are in the Batu Caves. So, yeah, I didn't have a proper dress, so I'm just covering with my scarf. So, let's go inside. Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So, that's why I stay right here. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, your crystal clear, you don't disappear, baby. Here we are. These are the steps. You know, these are the colorful steps. feeling so <laughs> auspicious, so religious on top, yeah. I'm just surprised to see the kind of construction they've done on this cave. And uh, nevertheless, that is the reason this is so famous, especially among most of the tourists here. Uh, it has got this nice positive vibe, so the 
feeling good to be here murugar's temple very popular very famous very powerful god and uh, especially in the hindu community and stuff and definitely something you should check out and batu cave should be definitely on your top 5 list here in kuala lumpur so there is another temple on the top um, that is uh, the i think it is the valli valli temple uh, valli amman's temple so uh, well leave for, for now from here ciao We are back from Batu Caves. You enjoyed, right? Yeah. So <laughs> he good. enjoyed that. This little one enjoyed. Did you enjoy with pigeons? Yes. Pigeons are enjoyed. I also. If, yeah, we enjoyed actually. It's really nice, pleasant, and the uh, darshan was good, simple and good. But again, the caves and all, it was really beautiful. Uh, we came back to the room. We just got fresh up, and uh, we are heading to Petra Twin Towers. So. Did you both say hi? Yeah, I booked the cab, but it's, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take fifteen minutes. Yeah, it's actually, you can see behind there's a lot of traffic. Maybe this is like working hours and all, so there's a lot of traffic. But by walk, it's one kilometer. We'll try to go down and we'll see if we can walk. We'll do. Let's go down and see. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's there in the background. That's the Petronas, the Petronas Twin Towers, the very famous Petronas Twin Towers, and uh, this was supposed to be one of the tallest uh, buildings here in Malaysia at one point. But now there are so many other towers that have come and stuff like that. But yeah, this is in history and legacy. And anybody who comes to Malaysia as a tourist, this is something that they definitely check out. So you need to check it out as well. The climate is good. Uh, like, you know, we're just waiting. So right now we see the building with no lights on. So, but we want to actually see the building once. You know, the lights are actually turned on, and that's what we are waiting to see. Uh, it's actually fun to see it from the outside. I don't know how was the experience from the inside. Probably we'll go and ask them. See, that's the bridge that's, actually you can cross. Yeah, there's one small connecting bridge. Yeah. The that's the observation. Yeah, that, that's where I think most people go and stand from there and you know, kind of take a look at the city view. But most of the towers which we are staying in right now also is almost like 50 or 60 floors. So we are anyways getting a similar kind of a look from there. Yeah. Once the lights turn on, let's see how the building will shine. Boba drinker. This is not boba. Bubble it's tea. Not boba. It's bubble. Shake well. Finally, we are drinking something. This is a store. Koi. They have a lot of bubble teas. So this is the one which we chose. Golden bubble tea. In the water. Just sipping bubble tea in front of towers. How is the taste? It's good. Very refreshing. Yeah. Oh, it's good? It's not good? <laughs> Good. Just had some junk food. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. That's the basic one. Yeah. Now we might go eat some street food. Good morning, guys. Another day, fresh day, and we are at the pool. This is also the infinity pool, and they have the jacuzzi as well. We have to turn it on. But yeah, that's how the pool looks. The good view again, so let us go inside, take a dip, and then I'll meet you back. So, why would I? There you see in the background, that's the Tian Hou Temple. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, the good thing is, uh, 
I spoke to one of the management guys and he was he is a Tamilian and uh, what he told me is this is a Chinese temple as we already knew that but however there were three statues or three idols inside and he said they are kind of like Indian gods what we have like one represented Saraswati with a Veena similarly we have one here and uh, one is like the Amman or Amoru that they call in Telugu so something like that and the third one was Lakshmi which is basically the goddess of money and um, of wealth or you could say so that is what he said he said it's very similar to what Indian temples are and Indian gods are and uh, the Chinese traditions is what they follow here uh, it's a very peace and calmful uh, calm temple we, I don't, we really don't know what to do there most of them are burning those incense sticks or those uh, and candles so we just followed whatever people were doing and we came it's a nice place and yeah definitely something you should check out if you want to come and see how the culture of chinese is and their temple is here in malaysia Yon Ha temple was beautiful actually. We did some, you know, we just sat like that. It was so peaceful. It was nice. We're not crowded. Right now, uh, the final stop is Central Market and Petaling Street. That is China's town. That is the street. So we just came here. The Central Market is kind of like you get Malaysia stuff, local stuff. The Petaling Street is like you get the Chinese stuff. It's kind of a Chinatown. So let's go. That's the central market. Let's go inside. We are just out of Central Market. We hardly found anything. The pricing was like uh, close to like store market only but uh, yeah we got few keychains and we had something pancakes and we got a bag that's for a good deal it's like for 400 maybe yeah we got a bag for Paris now but yeah apart from it there's nothing much no shirts dresses nothing no luck here let's go to Petaling Street Uh, I just took a pause and uh, ordered for uh, avocado and marshmallow smoothie. Uh, basically, this place, since the time I've been here, uh, Max is going nuts. So he's running into every single store and he's picking something and he's coming back and he's saying he wants it. And, uh, this place is in the same market and uh, that's the avocado and marshmallow smoothie and uh, probably one of their best sellers. The taste. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. Exactly, and look behind. How is it? There are a lot of things to explore in this place, so it, that is what we are doing right now. After we do that, we complete that, and we'll see if we find something else interesting to show you from this place. If not, it's mostly a Chinese market. He got some toys. He got lots of toys actually. So that was about uh, Patalin Street, Chinatown and this, the Central Market in Malaysia. So Central Market was like, okay, Patalin, it was good. Mama. Yeah, this is Sonic. This is Nuts friend. Yeah, there are a lot of food stores over there. You can have, we had uh, tea, milk tea and uh, there are a lot of other stuff like mango juice. They have some something related to mango and the street Chinese food, lot of stuff. We just roamed around. We got some toys for Naksh and all. So Chinese. that's it about um, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. The watch yeah, this is the watch which he got. He's just showing. Yeah, this is what Transformers watch. Yeah. 
So yes, we really had great I got time. Spider-Man. Yeah, he got the Spider-Man. Okay. So yes, we really had a great time in Kuala Lumpur. So we couldn't go to other places like uh, Petang uh, and Langkawi, which I wanted to go. And also Legoland, it was not possible. The only mistake which I did was like, you know, I didn't check how, how long is that from this Kuala Lumpur. It's close to 370 kilometers, which is not possible. So I think it's best if you go to Singapore and then go to Legoland, which is like 50 kilometers from there. And this is my night view. So yeah, that's about the trip. We really had a leisure time uh, with Naksh. We didn't, you know, try to go here and there, which we usually do it when we, when me and Tarek uh, uh, go on a trip. We try a lot of places, but this time we just made it simple and we enjoyed the quality of time. So yes, thank you all for watching the vlog and I will be back with another video on Kuala Lumpur, things to do in Kuala Lumpur and how much it costed for Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. See you then.